In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up Pioneer Payment Gateway in WooCommerce. So in order to do that, first head over to WooCommerce.com, click on the Start here right there, or click on Just Get Started. You can create an account by clicking on those buttons. Now, if you already have an account, you can head over and then just click on this login option that we can see right here. Now, let's head over and use WordPress to host our WooCommerce. Click on this Get Started right here or Get Started right here in order to create an account as well or click on this login in order to log into one. Since I already have an account, let me head over and then just log in. Now, here is my actual page right there. What we can do is we can head over right here to the WooCommerce and click on it. Once you have done that, it should be able to show you in here the home page of WooCommerce directly into your WordPress. What we can do is we can scroll down right here into this left sidebar and click on the settings that we can see. Once you have done that, let's head over right here to the payments. And once you're on your payments, you can see in here some payment providers. So we have, or we can accept payments by a Woo. We can accept PayPal payments, or we can also take offline payments. We also have payment options such as Stripe, Square, as well as Air Wallex. In this case, let's choose offline payments. We can choose check payments, cash on delivery, and the likes. So we have in here a lot of options that we can choose from. As you can see, Wu supports a lot of options as well as this right there. But as you can see, it doesn't support Pioneer. So what we can do is we can head over right here to our plugins marketplace and search in here for Pioneer. You can see in here the Pioneer checkout as well as this Pioneer Payment Gateway. Let's head over and click on this one. And then from in there, let's head over and install and activate it. And it should be able to serve as a gateway for Pioneer Checkout. So you can actually configure this once you have installed it by entering your API username, test store code, as well as the desired payment flow. So that's all there is today and I hope this video helped you out.